Good morning. We are uh, on our way over to the post office here. I got to ship out another hat and then I'm going to run over to my graphic guy. I had him print off my uh, new decals for the Ivy Farms I was telling you about in the last video I had to go pick up. So we got Wally with. Well, you guys come here for trucking and you get uh, buffaloes. Pretty unique creatures. And Wally, he's pretty unique too. There's uh, not enough boost gauge here for this engine, apparently. Oh. <laughs> Dang, son. Well, I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I got here, and you know, 2 o'clock, I'm thinking, oh yeah, I got a 2 o'clock appointment. Because I got my paperwork yesterday, and all day I was just thinking, oh, I gotta leave by noon. Well, it's two hours to get here. No idea what I was thinking. It's a 1 p.m. appointment. Unreal. Fortunately, they got me a door right away still, but truck's looking real nice. Nice looking W9 sitting right here. Need that trailer. This is not my week. So I got over here to Eau Claire and I needed some fuel. So I stopped in, fueled up, and went to take off. And uh, I'll show you what is going on here. So yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. So I just dropped it here. Eau Claire truck and trailer. They're gonna get it looking at it. And the thing is, I'm on my way to Midwest Diesel because I need to get my clutch fixed. And now I'm getting there later, so I'm getting there even later than I would planned on. So I'm just hoping Don is still there when I get there. This is turning into something else, you guys. See, this is what I'm saying with my, my uh, clutch. Pushed in. Needless to say, when I first got it, and normally you push the clutch in, and it should just pop right into gear, no problem. But you gotta sit there and slow it down, and then it'll go in. Or if the truck is off, it's not spinning, so it'll go in, but. <sighs> something else, something else. What's gonna happen next? Let's get back on our way to Midwest Diesel, I guess. How about this disaster? Apparently they're calling them snow squalls nowadays. It's about clear two seconds ago, and now you can't see anything. Well, we are finally on our way back to the house. It has been one disastrous day slash half the week slash already week is over because I just forgot it was already Thursday. Unreal. So I ended up deadheading all the way back from Milwaukee. Uh, and on my way back, found out that trailer issue that you guys saw earlier. Got to Midwest Diesel. You know, like the whole way back from Milwaukee. Just wind, like tornado gust winds, you know, blowing me all over the place. Snow, white out. You know, it's just crazy for being April, how much, how many whiteouts we're having, but 
Anyways, got to Midwest Diesel. They got me into the shop right away. The guy hopped underneath, adjusted the link, and boom, problem was fixed. As you can see, there's not much of the logo left on here. Anyways, but I went and got a blade today and uh, I'm gonna work on peeling it off. So this is probably gonna look absolutely terrible because it's gonna take all the paint off with it, but it is what it is, huh? It's actually coming off a lot better than so. As well, we're working on getting it put on here, peeling it off. There's one thing I hate doing, it's installing this kind of stuff because I am not good at getting stuff lined up. Tried to measure it the best I could though. And then these little parts right here usually like to peel off with it, so I tried to really make sure I put them on there good. Now my only thing is that uh, it's black, so I don't know, it's not like super noticeable. We'll see. All right, you guys, well, we are officially on our way down to the Wildwood Truck Show. Picked up earlier here in uh, Barron, Wisconsin. And we are delivering this down to Arcadia, Florida, uh, Thursday morning. Me and uh, another buddy are going to be running down there, checkbook. I have a feeling you probably fall asleep in the rest area here, you know. A guy like that can't pay with those big boys, so we're going to have to go wake him up. Super trucker himself. <laughs> well, let's take off from the rest area here, and uh, you can't see in the dark, but we blew the, I don't know, what is that, the intake or something? Blew it right off, so. And I don't have another clamp. We gotta get a clamp, put it back on. Checkbook said he's probably got one, so. Unreal, that was crazy sounding. The old Detroit, just purring along here. Got her all chicken lighted out, looking pretty decent. Needs to get some lights out of the trailer though. <laughs> This morning, got back up here to Wildwood, got checked into the hotel, parked next to a badass Pete, nice K dub over there. I don't know why this guy's not in the show. But, anyways, I'm gonna get unhooked, get our stuff in the room, go wash the truck up, and uh, go get it parked. So, we'll see you guys when we're over there. All right, you guys, as you can hear, we got the light show going on, we got the train horns going on. We got everything going on right now, but we're parked over here in the bobtail section. Gotta look at, gotta look at pretty right here. Got it polished up over the last couple days almost, but not looking bad. Nice seeing everybody out here. We've been having a good time. Everybody coming up and saying hi. Big shout out to everybody I've seen out here. We got the wheels shined up. Try to get all, try to get all that winter and rain off of them there. But, yeah. So we're gonna go walk around now, check out all the rest of the trucks. Haven't, hey Maddie. Haven't made it around too much. Been working on the trucks and uh, just kind of hanging all right around the trucks. But man, there are some large rides here. So we're gonna go check them out. Look at this, you guys got fish in here.
<laughs> Always a good time out here, come on. Check this out, boys. Ooh, shit. Look at this thing, complete custom interior on it. All done by Amazon, Walmart carpet. These guys are good at what they do. Guys, are we ever having a good time out here this weekend? Thing down here, I think they're trying to honestly blow it up. Morning, everybody. It is the last day of the truck show here, and I am working on getting everything kind of cleaned up around the truck here from the weekend. And Jack Doyle, I'm gonna get started up. Got to figure out how I can get in contact with these guys right here because I got to get out of here. But it was a really good time out here and uh just want to say to everybody that was out here i really appreciate everybody that came up and talked with me uh really appreciate ft trucking over here he's a really nice guy awesome to talk to made us some food last night man it was so much fun we're gonna get this truck out of here and go pick up our load in Belle Glade, florida and then head back up to minnesota I don't know if I showed it earlier in the video, but we got parked right next to the trucker AK here. Got this thing looking right. And then, Mr. Keep On Trucking got here Saturday. Or, yeah, well, I guess it was Saturday. But, uh, got his truck you guys go check out his channel you see he just painted this thing turned out absolutely badass and check out this bumper it is literally on the ground there's no space between the ground and the bumper So, turned out pretty sweet on here. It's awesome actually being able to get down here and uh, see everybody again. You know, it's been a year. Well, I don't remember when that Amcan show was, but it's been that long. So, really cool. We are headed out of Belglade, Florida here. We just picked up a load of, must be sweet corn. Headed back up to Waseca, or Waseca, what is it? Waseca. Waseca, Minnesota. But we came right down here after we picked up, or after the truck show there at the 75 Pro Shop. And that was a great time, man. Like, I haven't had that much fun in a long time. So we got checkbook pulling out right behind us here. We are going to make it back up to Wildwood and uh, get these loads weighed up. They feel kind of heavy, but probably pass out there for a minute and then uh, get back out of the way. All right, guys, well, we just stopped here. Exit 2 in uh, Georgia. Just got out of Florida. It's been going pretty good so far. Uh, we had to grab some fuel. It's kind of annoying with the uh, fuel prices the way they are right now. My card, for some reason, it's got a high enough limit, but always stops at like nine hundred ninety-seven dollars. So I only would and restart it. But anyways, the truck is surprisingly still looking pretty good on the way up. We've got whatever all these uh, these bugs are just filled my bumper up, filled my windshield up. Couldn't hardly see out of my windshield. We got the old crackhead looking Freightliner deal here. We had to stop last night. We had to stop last night and uh, fix some wiring up on there because the chicken lights weren't working on there, but we got it rolling. So we just, we're gonna hop in uh, Arby's here now 
and grab some food and then hit the road again. Ow. Tennessee checkbook can't truck very long so we got to stop for him of course <laughs> but uh, we're gonna work our way over Montego here and then figure out somewhere to eat here in a little bit but I was talking to dad on the way up here and he was saying that back at the house it's like 34 degrees he's like you have to turn the heat on so that part sucks but I am going to be uh, happy to be in some cooler weather because I'm telling you, this heat with no AC has been killing both Maddie and I, man. So, we're going to get trucking here again and uh, we'll catch up with you guys here once we figure out what we're going to be doing. I can't whistle. Look at that nice, clean trailer. Sheesh! Alright guys, well we're headed up Mont Eagle right now and we got her screaming. We are doing about 46 to 47 miles an hour and uh, EGTs are about a little over 600. That car, I don't know, probably doing about 60, 70. <laughs> but, oh, we're speeding up, 47, 48 miles an hour now. Might have to let off a little, our water temp is going to get a little hot. Well, catching up to this guy up here. Got some power. 